Hello and welcome again to Simple Ways. We are going to jump our experience with web apps and Google Sheets. Today, we are going to continue or to build on our experience that we had started the last two sessions. We had seen how to deploy an app and make versions of our app and how to jump between versions and what does it mean and all of this. Now, and we have seen in the previous, in the last first video, how to receive simple information from our web app like the I, uh, IoT service. So today we are going to delve deep into IoT service, how to receive more than one parameter uh, how to shuffle the parameters and what happens if there's something missing and many other versions and how to record this into our sheet progressively many many tricks uh, many thoughts many insights you are going to see in this video we are going to start from we had stopped last time the only thing we are going to add here an e the e is an object that you receive when you receive a call from the web you receive this e object with the data included in the job Okay, now, and so we are going to define some variables like uh, var uh, spreadsheet, which is our spreadsheet. So this one will be our spreadsheet app dot get active. Okay, now I have the sheet in my hand because I'm going to write in the sheet. So also var, I'm going to have uh, here I received the spreadsheet. I'm going to prepare the sheet itself. So it starts from the spreadsheet and then I call my sheet. So get sheet by name okay you open here a bracket and you need to put it as a string so i'm going to check the first uh, sheet it's called sheet one so i'm going to name it sheet one i make this because sometimes if you have multiple sheets and if you select the active and you stop on another sheet you are going to write or edit a different sheet than what you like you can put the semicolon or not now after making the the basic variables to prepare the sheet i'm going to prepare the variables that i'm going to write so var let's we say we are going to receive a tag so i will call it tag this one will be equal to e which is the object i received inside the e there is parameters and in the parameters i program the parameters so the first one of the parameters i will call it tag also so this one will be the first one that's what i need to add in the web app uh, address so to be able to send it back to here to receive it we will see this extensively here and i make another var which is value one for example the name on the left hand side is only internal for you between you here and the sheet and your program the names on the right hand side at the end of e dot parameters tag and so on these are important because you access your sheet or your web app using this uh, these names so we'll be here i'll put here parameters dot value one and then i'll put also another value so receive many variables and receive value two for example and here i put it e dot parameters dot value two okay now what el what other parameters that i need maybe i need to put a date stamp so i get when i receive the date ob as a as an object i need to put a date stamp so i prepare date so variable i will call it date and this date i will be a new date this will get the date of now okay and then i need to write all this to the sheet then i will prepare a an array that i will put it to the sheet and we will know a very important trick here so i'll make variable i will call it data and this data will be simply an array that uh, includes all the uh, the data that we had collected so far so it will include the tag that's the first thing i'm going to write it after the tag i'll put the date for example after the date i'll put value one and then i put value two okay like this i had prepared the data after that i'm going to write this data in the sheet so writing in the sheet i'll bring my sheet and then i will going to get a range sorry i made an extra dot here so dot get range when you open here it will tell you how you'll get you will get row and colon you'll get one cell so you need to make a range so you can find the help from one two three four here okay so simply i need the uh, oh, before i go here i need to prepare my uh, the row that i'm going to write in to make it the new row in your row so variable my new row will be equal to sheet dot 
get last row, okay, which is a function, plus one. So I'll get the last active row plus one. So this one will be a new row. So this one need to be a var. Okay. And then I need to make sure that in my sheets, I prepare it correctly. So I'll put in the first one, this will be the tag, then will be the date, and then will be value one, and then will be value two. Okay, now, now I had prepared my uh, sheet. So it will start writing from column, uh, from row two directly, because it will take this one is filled. So this one will be the last one. And this one, because the last one filled, and then we'll add one. So we'll start writing from row number two. Okay, so to get range, so the range I need is the new row that I'm going to write in. And we'll start from the first column, so column one. And then I will use one row only. And then after that, I will go for uh, four cells. So we'll go for four columns to understand it better, to see it here. I'll start from here, from this row, from this column till this column. And all the data will be on one row. So that's here. That's the new row, one uh, starting from column one, and then will be one row only and four columns. And inside this, I'm going to dot set. It should be here dot set values, values, because I'm going to make multiple values. And inside, I'm going to put my uh, data. Okay, so like this, I had prepared all everything to receive the data. So one thing is important here uh, if you run your script from inside you will see an error because this e is which are you are using here is only defined when you receive it from the web so if i try to make run here okay that's allowing for my permissions okay now you see that parameters is of undefined what is the undefined the undefined is the e so why the E is undefined? Uh, because nobody called it called you from outside to send you an E, an object with the date. So now we understood the first part. Okay. Now I need, as we had in the, said in the previous video, I need to test deployments because I made deployments before to this. So I need only to test deployments. I will copy the address of the test deployment, done. And then I will put it here, control V. Okay, and then I need to put a question mark. Then I put the names, tag. The first one which is equal to a for example and the end sign this will be value one we'll make it equal to three for example and then end it will be value two and i will make it equal to six and then simply i press enter it will go to my web app but it says here that value two is undefined yes i didn't define value two is not defined in line 12 so it tells you automatically if you have some errors to go to okay here i put it's on line 12 so i put here value 2 so control s i go here again enter that's the value of testing now here it says that the parameters do not match the method signature for the spreadsheet app range what does this mean i will show you one trick which is very important to go to in a moment if you go to Google developers and you go to set values you search for developers Google set values as you it will open to you the function you can see here that the values that you need to put here inside is if is an array of arrays because it, you can put many rows on it so that's how to take the documentation and to use it in your function so we return back to our sheets and here, this means that I need to put this as an array of arrays. Maybe it includes one own array only, but I need to include it as an array of arrays. So simply you can mark it all and you mark the first opening square bracket. It will close it, so control S. Now, when I go back to the error, now here and press enter, it's running. Now it brings me the web, my web app page, which is including that's my third deployment. That's the last one we had set it. And now if I return back to my sheet you can see that now it's a date and the values are already set there so the date you can make it date you can go to format number and then you can check its date and time and if you want to put the date and time on separate columns we are going to see how to make them on separate columns
columns in a moment so I can insert here if you like you can insert here another column and you can make here this one as time okay and then I will copy this one for now to check it control V I will tell you the very basic way to make it so I'll come here and make for the date format number and then I make this one as a date and then I'll come to here and I'll make this as format number and then I'll make this as a time so you can see now I had separated the date and time simply from inside the sheet if you need to make it on all the sheet simply you need to mark all the column and format number and to make this one as date and then here to mark all the column and then format number and to make this as a time okay now for every next trial to you like this but you need to make some modification here that you need to add here it will be you will work on five columns and then you need to add here two dates so this will also be date okay and then control s okay and then i go back i'll try again to send more data i will change the values here so i will make this tag uh, to be p for example and then i'll make the value one as six and then i'll make the value two as nine okay and then i press enter okay and then i return back to my sheet you can see that p and it came exactly as i told you that it will be doing okay so that's perfect so now another trick we need to know here suppose that i shovel the values what i mean by shoveling the value for example i used here value two and here value one so value one and i kept and i uh, okay and then i'll change them for example value two will be i'll make it two so we understand it and value one i'll make it one so we can see the difference okay and then i press enter it's working fine if i turn back to my sheet you can see that value one became as one in the row of value one so even if shuffling it's there is no order there's no specific order for the values it reads the tag of the value or the uh, indication of the value as a value one value two and put it in its correct position so what about if i missed one of the values for example i if i removed this one value one i removed it out i moved it out and then i pressed enter if i go back to my sheet you can see that it recorded whatever data is available it had recorded it and the data that is not available it didn't record it it leave it as a blank so now we had a lot of insights about recording the, our data in the sheets using iot and multiple values okay we had shuffled them we had removed missed one item okay and uh, like this we can uh, see we're writing the data and it's writing always to a new column you can change the data as you like so if you are using it with um, arduino or another microcontroller and it's sending you a value from a sensor or something like that it will always go now you know how to prepare your sheets so it can receive values online from a sensor with this time with this stamp and with a timing stamp so but I, if I, am i receiving the values because i'm having this uh, open or what happens if I close them so I will try to I will close this sheet and close okay now the sheet is closed and I'm leaving only with my app so if I come here and I'll change the value I'll make this one for example 4 and I'll put instead of uh, the tag I'll put my value my values for example and then I press enter so the data is sent so my sheet is closed so if i open my sheet back from history you can see that the new value is already recorded with the timestamp and everything perfectly even when your sheet is closed okay so i hope now you had a wealth of information so uh, see you in coming videos spread the information join our trainings on udemy we have special fiverr services for consultancy to correct your sheets scripts and to build even scripts from scratch for you you can find all the links in the description box below so you can join our services on fiverr you can join our trainings on udemy and you see a lot of information on this channel join 
subscribe and spread the information see you in coming videos with more tips and tricks from google sheets apps scripts web apps now and many other digital skills